guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's video is a top rated beauty haul. I've done a bit of shopping at Boots, I've picked up all kinds of different things and I am dying to share them with you. Um, some really exciting products in here so I hope you're going to enjoy this video. One thing I quite like about shopping on Boots is they have quite a lot of different offers on so you can get some really good deals and if you're into getting a really good deal on your shopping and who isn't especially these days you might want to check out Top Cashback. So Top Cashback is a cashback site really easy to use you shop as usual you just go through their site first and you earn cash back on your everyday purchases so as well as using it at places like boots on your beauty and stuff like that there are lots of other websites that you can shop with honestly there are literally like hundreds so it's always worth checking it out before you do a bit of shopping and excitingly i've got a special deal for you today where you can get an extra 10 pounds worth of cash back if you sign up for top cash back using my link so the link will be in my description box along with all the information about how to use it and any exclusions and things that apply. I've also put together a little video showing you how easy it is to shop with Top Cashback. So you're going to start by clicking the link in the description box to get that extra £10 if you're a new customer. That'll take you through to the Top Cashback website where you type in the name of the website you want to shop on, in this case Boots. Then you will just click and it will take you through to the website. Once on the website you're shopping on, you just add things to your basket, shop as normal. and check out as normal and Top Cashback will track the cashback that you've earned in that transaction. Easy as that. I do find the cashback really adds up if you use it quite a lot, particularly if you're making bigger purchases, you know, like holidays, things like that. You probably saw in that little video there how much cashback I've earned with them. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out and definitely check out that link if you want the extra £10 if you're new and you want to sign up. Okay, so on to the haul. I got all kinds of different things. Um, some things are new to me and I've been trying them out and yeah, let's just get into it because there's a bit to get through. Okay, so one of the top rated products that I was dying to try out is from Corsix, is that how you say it? It's their Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Now this one is interesting because it literally has, the 96 refers to, 96% of this product has got snail mucus in it which sounds kind of oh but you know what this has been recommended to me like in real life by a couple of people with incredible skin i am like what what are you using and they're like have you tried this and then i went on the boots website and i looked at the reviews and i was like there's something in this so this is 24.99 um it is an essence you can see i've used a little bit it literally arrived like a day or two ago and i have had to try it out and so far the first impressions i'm impressed so it's got a little um, applicator like this and you just squeeze out the product. That is probably too much actually. What I would say my top tip with this product is only put a small drop on and just like add as you go because a little bit goes a long way and the only kind of not so positive reviews that I've read about this product are from people saying it's sticky. Well, what I would say is if you apply a small amount, it's not at all sticky. I've got it on today. I put it on last night. It's really easy to apply. It doesn't smell of anything or anything like that. To be honest with you, if you didn't know it came from snails, you would have no idea. It just feels like a really high quality essence. It's probably slightly thicker than some essences. It's kind of somewhere between a serum and an essence is how I would describe it. It just says 96% snail secretion. This essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth, moisturised and looking healthy. So after cleansing and toning, apply a small amount on your entire face, gently patting using fingertips to aid absorption and then apply moisturiser. They do a moisturiser as well, which I may need to look into because this has been so good so far. So I am incredibly impressed for the first few times that I've used it. My skin, even like with that bit I've just put on, feels incredibly soft 
and I've got a slightly sort of irritated patch I've mentioned before uh, on my face and I've put this on and it seems to be kind of soothing it and helping with a little bit of barrier repair and then everything you put on top of it afterwards essences really do help to sort of draw extra products into the skin whatever you're putting on afterwards and things so I'm incredibly impressed with this I can see why it's got such good reviews and the only thing I'm thinking is why, why didn't I kind of try this earlier so yeah so far so good very impressed with that product then I picked up a couple of eyeshadows from Giorgio Armani so these are a bit more on the kind of pricey side but they do have them on offer sometimes so I got two different types of eye tint I got a matte one and I got a shimmer one and these are what I'm wearing today so all over my eye I have got the shade 22M which is 22 matte and then just on the inner corners here I have got 11S which is one of their shimmer shades again these are kind of top rated and I'd seen a lot of people speaking about them so I was dying to try them out this is what the packaging looks like very looks very Armani this matte shade here which is the 22M is currently in stock it has been out of stock everywhere for such a long time which really does speak to how good it is so it's got this kind of applicator here like a doe fat applicator and a little bit goes a long way so I just put a little bit on my eyelids and then I just kind of blended it out so you can obviously build it up to get a more intense colour or you can just have it like this as an all over wash of colour it does last all day it does not crease it is amazing the shimmer one I wouldn't put like all over um, my eye I think this is just better as like I said a bit of an inner corner shimmer So that's this one. I mean, you could put the shimmer as an all over eye color, but I just think I prefer the matte. And then like I said, using that on the inner corner. But yeah, I also recommend them, especially if you are able to get hold of that shade 22, the elusive shade 22. Honestly, when I first heard somebody speaking about this, I went to so many Armani stands. I looked at every website that sold it and nowhere had shade 22. So when it came into boots, I was absolutely all over that. From Bioma, they have released a new lip oil. It's the Liptide pH Lip Oil. It's got barrier lipids, peptides, and avocado oil. It's in a 5ml or 0.16 fluid ounce size. I think this was 9.95. It's in their super chunky packaging. So it's like a clear lip oil, although it looks quite pink on there. It's just clear but it's a ph lip oil so when it comes into contact with your lips and i think your temperature and stuff it's going to basically be a certain kind of color that's exclusive to you or unique to you it smells like raspberries i almost think this applicator is a bit too chunky although that seems to be the way for a lot of lip oils i've noticed they're really chunky applicators um, but yeah i quite like the packaging i think it's quite fun it's probably quite a young um packaging but it's like super chunky easy to grab in your bag and it stands out because it's bright yellow but you know me if you've watched my videos for a while I like products lip products that I can put on without needing a mirror and stuff so this is easy to put on it's comfortable it's moisturizing and it's going to add a little bit of a kind of flattering color because it's like I said going to mix with your kind of body temperature and, and stuff and your pH and it's going to give you that kind of unique natural color a restock that will not be a surprise to anyone but definitely one that has to be included in top rate rated beauty because it is it's brilliant it's the bioderma sensibo micellar water I've said this a million times this is the only micellar water that my eyes can tolerate i've tried every other brand that claims to be for sensitive eyes etc this is the only one and it's lovely so i now just full-on buy these really big bottles this was on offer actually when i bought it i think it was 16.80 instead of like 20 pounds or something anyway it will be what it will be i'll link it in the description box but um it's got a pump on it so like you literally flip the lid push down on it and it goes on your cotton pad and then i just use this like i said to take up take off eye makeup also as like a little refreshing kind of in between cleanse in between my other cleansing and this stuff is just magnificent um i will never be without it so i've decided like i said i'm just going for these huge ones now because it's more cost effective and I get through a lot of it. Speaking of cleansers, I picked this up and wow, this is my new favorite cleanser. It's the Liz Earl Probiotic Balancing Milk Cleanser. Protects and strengthens the skin moisture barrier for visibly healthier looking skin. It has got prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics, and it's got oat in there and chicory and things like that. It's 100 ml or 3.3 fluid ounce. 
So I, like I said, I have got that sensitive patch. I'm trying to sort of build my barrier back up and this is just my new best friend on that regard. This is what it looks like. So it does say to apply it to wet skin, which is what I have been doing, but obviously my hand isn't really wet at the moment, but it's just lovely and creamy. It's so gentle on the skin. It makes your skin feel really soft and nourished and cared for. And you know, when you rinse it off because you apply it to wet skin, massage it in and then rinse it off, your skin feels really nicely balanced and soft and not at all stripped. I've just wiped that off with a tissue and it's pretty much taken most of my makeup off. If I am double cleansing uh, with this, if I've got makeup and stuff on, then I do go in twice with it and that does remove everything. Or I'll go in with like an oil cleanser and then use this. But to be honest, this twice is absolutely enough. This is brilliant. This is, I think, £18, but I think it's on three for two at the minute on the Boots website. Again, like I said, they do have a lot of offers. Um, yeah, this stuff is brilliant. I have fallen in love with it. I've recently tried some really high-end um, cleansers and we're talking like £70 a cleanser and they're brilliant but I can't bring myself to spend £70 on a cleanser. This is a much more affordable price point and it's a joy to use. I am literally looking forward to using this every night and if you've watched me for a while, how many cleansers have I tried? This stuff is amazing top rated for sure. So I got a few more things. Um, some have like been split between these two boxes for some reason. I also got sent the latest health and beauty magazine um, as well. I picked up the Avene O Thermal. So this is thermal spring water, sensitive skin, soothes, rebalances, reduces irritation. I've not used this for years, but again, it gets really good reviews. I think it's £4.60 in this size at the moment, which is a um, travel size. It's in a metal can. And we'll spray it. It's just like a lovely kind of shot of cool water to just kind of cool you down. And it also helps to really soothe the skin if you've got really like irritated skin. It's not a setting spray, so it's not gonna set your makeup. It's just a nice kind of refresher and a nice step to use in your skincare routine. But because it's in this metal can, it seems to stay really cool and it's just, lovely to use it just says sensitive allergic and irritated skin soothing dermatological care the next product i thought was an interesting one so it's from bubble now i don't know if you have heard of this range it seems to me this brand is kind of targeting the younger end of the skincare market so i think originally they came about for kind of like teenagers young adults sort of age of skin and then now they're kind of saying they're for all skin and I actually tried this out in a boot store on the back of my hand and it made my hand so soft and I was like, we're going to give this a try. So we will see if this is actually for, uh, you know, slightly older people. I'm 38 now, so I'm probably not the target market for this, but the actual product seemed really good. So I'm going to try it. We're going to see. This is the Float On Soothing Face Oil. It is dermatologically tested, vegan, cruelty free, one fluid down to 30 mil. It retails for 19 pounds. So it's not too bad a price point um, for if it is, you know, a decent skincare. It's in a kind of glass bottle and this bit on the top is plastic with a glass dropper in it. So you just press the button, release, and it pulls the product up into there. So it is a facial skin oil. Now it's supposed to be non-comedogenic. It is supposed to be safe for those of us who get blemishes and things. So I'm excited. It just seems like a lovely, lovely face oil. I probably put a bit too much on again, story of my life there, uh, but it seems really moisturizing and like it does kind of care for the skin. So I'm excited to try this and see how we get on. It kind of smells a little bit nutty is how I would describe it. I wonder if there are any nuts in there. It just says apply three to four drops to clean dry skin, layer over moisturizer for extra hydration. And they're saying it works especially well with their AHA and PHA exfoliating mask. So that's the other thing I'm thinking. I'm using a prescription retinol and it can be really helpful to have that extra bit of moisture. I've just realized if you twist it, that comes down. Oh, I'm loving it, loving it. I do think they've been heavily inspired by Drunk Elephant, the packaging and everything just reminds me of it. Um, so it is formulated without fragrance, parabens, dyes, sulfates, denuded alcohol, formaldehyde releases, phthalate, silicones, PEGs and gluten. So it's got safflower seed oil in there, it's got neem seed oil, it's got baruti fruit, it's got prickly pear. It doesn't look like there's anything kind of nutty in there, it just smells that way to me. Um, super subtle scent though, nothing 
that you're gonna really notice but I'm quite excited to try this out and if it's good I might try more of the range okay we're getting to the end of this haul so don't forget to leave me a comment if there's anything you think I should try out in a future video um, but I wanted to focus now on foot care which I guess won't be for everyone don't worry I'm not going to show anyone my feet I know people don't like that so I um, usually get a pedicure every six weeks but my lovely beautician has gone on maternity leave and I'm basically doing it myself until she gets back. I guess I get I could go and see somebody else, but I want to be there for her when she gets back. I don't want to really go see anyone else. So I'm just like, do you know what? I'll save money for a bit and I'll just do it myself. So it's led me to look into um, foot care a little bit. So I have picked up a couple of Boots products. I originally was just going to pick up some of these foot socks, but then I saw they do like this whole bundle. So these are pretty affordable because the boots are make. So we've got the Sea Minerals and Mint Exfoliating Foot Scrub, which is made from naturally derived ingredients and volcanic rock. Again, these all get really highly rated. Deeply exfoliates for smooth polished feet. 150 ml or five fluid ounces retails for 3 99 and then the coconut oil and shea butter nourishing foot cream made from naturally derived ingredients gently nourishes for smooth soft feet 150 ml or five fluid ounce again it retails for 3.99 the foot socks i've got the moisturizing tea tree and peppermint foot socks enriched with vitamin e intensely nourishes for smooth soft feet and the moisturizing coconut oil foot socks again enriched with vitamin e gently nourishes etc with the foot socks it says to leave them on for 20 minutes I have left them on for much longer. These are the ones that basically you put your feet into them like socks and then you usually fasten them on the ankle and they kind of stay in place for as long as you want to sit there. Do not walk around the house with them on. You will probably fall over. Um, I speak from experience. You are supposed to put them on, sit down and relax. So obviously the routine would be very much use the foot scrub, dry your feet and then either go in with the foot cream or a pair of the socks or the foot cream and a pair of socks if you want to do that so these are 199 each and like i said these ones are 399 each but i actually got them all in a bundle so the bundle was 10 pounds but actually nine pound if you had an advantage card so it should nine pound for all four products so that's the haul everything is linked in the description box don't forget to use that top cashback link if you want to get an extra 10 pounds of cashback when you sign up for your free top cashback account so I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.